Hey everyone! Hey. Welcome to Curses on Late Night Gaming. Tonight I just thought I would do a little update on the base. I've been focused a lot on work lately and things, so I haven't been able to really get in here much. But I've got the base looking okay. I still think there's details that need to happen. But it's, it's alright. Um, here is kind of the workshop area. Let's start from outside, shall we? So this is the back of the house, basically. And back of the base. And we've got, um, our little raft here. I think I've shown this before. And this is great for, we're on Valgaro, by the way. Didn't mention that. Um, and Valgaro, I've got to say... <laughs> Ragnarok has always been my favorite map, but I gotta say Valgaro is pretty good. And the main reason is that it's got almost all the creatures from the other maps. And in fact, there is a mod that you can install on PC that is, <clears throat> excuse me, made by the guy who did the Valgaro map. And it is a mod that adds the things that he wanted to be in here that Wildcard wouldn't allow. And so I installed it just because, you know, I like to support the creator and, and see his vision for what he wanted to create. Because so often bureaucracy and frame rate and other things get in the way of what you really wanted things to be. So I installed it and I'm seeing creatures from Extinction in here as well. I have been seeing gas bags. I have been seeing, um, oh my god, what's that? I'm totally drawing a blank. Velanosaurs, they're in here too. Um, when you install that mod. And I'm not sure exactly what else. I'd like to think in the snow is snowy owls. And I would like to think there are mana grimoire out there. Um, because what that would mean for me is I can reduce the number of servers I have. I could get rid of Extinction. I could get rid of, um, Aberration. And, you know, if, if not remove them completely, I could put some other maps there, like Crystal Isles or something else. Um, so that's really exciting. But that mod's really new, and I've heard it's got some things that he's been, like... First he was having everything in, then he was taking things. So I want that to kind of settle before I do anything drastic like that. However, <coughs> back to the base. So this is the back of the main house. And um, and I've got the workshop here. And it's kind of an open air workshop. I kind of wanted this kind of open feeling. And I was able to pull it off and still get the ability to have a little house symbol, which means the game um, considers you inside. So we've got this area here that's, we've still got a lot more machines to build. Um, I just recently placed an oil rig, um, oil, what do they call them? The, the, the oil pump thing that gathers oil. So, um, that's going to help me catch up because right now I'm kind of struggling for things like gas and and oil and things I need. But there's a great spot. I think I showed it in the uh, few videos ago that has lots of really good resources, obsidian and and silica pearls and crystal all in like the same spot. Anyway, back to this. So we're going to have to get uh, metal for... Um, Industrial forge and um, industrial cookers and all that stuff eventually. We don't have them yet. But I think this is a good space. And we've got a um, ladder here with a little loft that um, these are windows. Um, little loft here that we can uh, store extra equipment. That's what I've been doing so far. When you get drops and things, I've just been throwing it in here. And um, then we've got the greenhouse here, too. And this is going to be really handy to have it right there, right close by. Um, ooh, I brought... Yeah, almost totally 
forgot about these. I had put some. Yep. Okay. The um, thing I'm struggling with right now is I need to get um, more dinos that do poop because the most of mine aren't big poopers and I need fertilizer. Uh, and right here is a really good spot for me to place the trough because it covers the majority. Uh, it, it covers pretty much all of my area here. Th that one S plus trough covers everything. So it's nice centralized. I can place it and only fill one food slot. I don't have to go around running around like I do in Ragnarok. My island there on Ragnarok is pretty big. Lots of different locations, lots of different buildings, and I've got to run around feeding everything. That's kind of annoying. So we've got these kind of breezeways here. We have them on each side. Here's one here and one on the other side. I just kind of like the idea of having this kind of central thing with the breezeways. And again, it considers us in the house, so that's great. Now we walk into the main room and we've got the kitchen here now i always use eco mods um eco decor mod that's why most of my kitchens and all my bases look the same i'd love to add more but it, it's just too many mods if they had it all in one mod that'd be awesome but they don't and it would probably be huge so i just use the one this basic eco decor mod and that gives me these simple things which is great um it's got the stove but it ends up like I said most of the kitchens and the places I build look kind of the similar because that's the equipment we have. Um, we've got a bar here. Nice to hang out and uh, with other tribe mates. I don't know if you can hear. Be quiet. Yeah, a tribe mate is sleeping above us. You can hear her snoring. Um. Ooh, I couldn't get out of the chair. It was freaking me out. Um, okay, so here is the main hall here, room. Just got some nice little thrones. This is also eco decor mod for the fireplace. And uh, as is these uh, mounts on the wall, they're from eco decor mod as well. Now, yeah, here's some more and furniture from it. Um, little table area and some storage. And if we go up the stairs here, this is the artifact of the destroyer, I believe. I seem to get it. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, let's see. Yep, artifact of the destroyer. And did I do something cool to earn this? No, I didn't. It's quite literally just sitting on a mountaintop here in Valguero. Just sitting there. You just pick it up. There's no accomplishing anything. You just go pick it up. And that's what I did. And I'm probably going to go pick up another one and put it here. So we've got this matching thing on the stairway. Or get some different one somewhere else. I don't know. So the bedrooms are right here. This is all I've got in mind. I've got more I need to add. And we don't have doors on the bedrooms because the way I did this with the kind of angled room, it's kind of curved a little bit. If um, I put doors there, it, when you open them, you're trapped. It doesn't le let you out. So... We switched it up to not have door doors, and nobody really cares. And of course, on this side here is Cat's room, and there's Cat. But, um, yep. And then we have our upper deck here. And there's the house we originally built when we first got to Vulgaro, just as a starter place. And, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... There it is. Here's our RG with some of the uh, 4th of July stuff. Which I still have that mod run, or that um, event running right now. 4th of July. I haven't been able to do much with it, so I've been kind of just keeping it rolling. 
I can, uh, as the moderator on here, I can determine when, or the, um, as the admin on here, I can determine when that event ends and begins, because, like, I could turn to Christmas right now if I wanted to, because I'm the admin, but, so going back downstairs, let's see. So we've got this nice area here on the front as well. I'm going to put some benches and things out here. Um, this particular place, which is when you're loading into Valgaro, it's called Small Islands. It um, has no aggressive creatures. So everything wandering around here doesn't hurt you. So there's no real danger. No, I don't need fences and things. Okay, moving on. We have um, the wind turbine I found in a drop, and I decided to give it a try, and no, it doesn't work. There's no wind here, apparently. But let's uh, move on to the animal barn, or I don't know what you call it. I guess you could say animal barn. It's uh, bigger than the house, I think. Um, we... What was that? Oh. Um. Yeah. So here is the barn. It's really big. It's really freaking big. We don't have a lot going on right now. Just one raptor and a bunch of dino nitrous. But I think this is going to be nice to house things. I was going to, of course, build stalls and things inside. I did go and turn off the support requirement so I could build things like this because um, otherwise we have a lot of pillars going down through the middle of the house. So I went in and turned that off. Here's some air conditioners, of course, to hatch eggs. Uh, and then a little flyers area here. And this is also nice because it reaches down below here. Kind of a lower area. And I could um, hatch bigger dinos out here that you don't really want to grow up inside of the house, like Rex or whatever. Could grow up. I could hatch them out here. Still close enough to the air conditioners to do that. And then here, I have some dino nitrous. Now, I had found some 174 eggs. No, 162 eggs. And both of them hatched twins. So now I've got more dino nitrous than I really need. Um, and I'm really surprised. This area still says that I'm inside of a house. Usually if you don't have foundation on the ground, you don't get that, but this does. You're going to be stuck there forever. And if I smack you, you're going to try to break everything. Um, so as you can see, this was kind of on a um, weird slope here. There's kind of this cliff, and I kind of integrated it into the entire thing, so... So it's big. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a better view here Oops. of the cliff. Yeah, so it had this cliff edge, and I started building up there, and I let it extend out, then put pillars down and walls and made it all one piece. So. It's a box. I mean, it's square, but I think it's kind of cool in that it's kind of multi-layered. I may install an elevator lift inside to go down into the other area so you don't have to go out. But, yeah. And then we've got our saddles we're finding in here. Lots of thorny dragon for some reason. And manta. So many manta saddles. 
One, two, three, four. I've never tamed a manta in my life. Okay, let's head back to the house. Huh, that's kind of weird. Usually when you jump and use the wings, you uh, get there, like that, yeah. So this is it. This is what we've got so far. Um, like I said, I think more can happen. Like the, it needs to get more details, but it's fully functional. Great place here in Valguero. If you're interested in the location, like I said, it is the small isles. I don't think I have a GPS right now, but it's right there. You can see the icon. It says me. And uh, there's just like two islands together and there's nothing aggressive there. It's all nice and peaceful. And and now that I've got that mod installed from the uh, makers of this map, I'm really curious what else is here. Because I heard uh, Syntax say that he removed a bunch of dinos, but and he asked people to install a separate mod on top of this other one to fulfill the, all of it but i don't i don't know i wasn't really interested in that and i haven't really found any of the entrances to the aberration areas yet so i just kind of went no eh, whatever but i the wonder if there's snowy owls i, I should if we could go over there really quickly and check thing is the um, Archies are so slow. Oh. So one thing I was considering is that um, to there there are a couple wyvern trenches here. I haven't found them yet. I don't I don't know where they are. But um, there's a couple wyvern trenches and to get wyvern eggs, you need something fast, which would either be a snowy owl or it would be a griffin. Now, the question I ran into, and this is the reason I brought this RG over from Ragnarok, is because, you know, I've tamed a lot of them, and I've raised a lot of them. I have, um, I have fully imprinted snowy owls, and I have fully imprinted, or fully imprinted RG, which is what this is. And then um, also, I have like high level griffins all in Ragnarok because that's kind of our main home. So I don't know if I, I don't know if I feel it is necessary to tame more. You know what I mean? I mean the whole reason we have this cluster series is to jump back and forth between maps. So I kind of am kind of like in a conflict with myself. It's like, do I? bother taming those things because I've already got probably better back at Ragnarok. I could just go over and get them or breed better ones and bring them, you know? So I don't know. So yeah, the right straight ahead here is that area I was talking about. It has a lot of good things. It's got a lot of the resources that you often find yourself searching for um, in various locations all together in one spot. A lot of dangerous things here, but still, it's worth the uh, hassle. So 
So as I pointed out last time, right here is a great place for crystal. There's some crystal and there's some more above. And then we've got um, down in here, lots and lots of silica pearls. And then if we go over here, oh, we've got lag issues apparently. And over here we've got obsidian. Sitting all over the place. And then if we go this direction, I found a great spot to place one of the oil pumps. Uh, let's see where is it? There, right there. So Almost everything is right here. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean you want to build here, because if you build, stuff stops spawning. Let's see how much oil we have right now. Like I said, I just placed it. So. And look, they're they're right ahead. There's a gas bag. So that mod must have installed gas bags, because I certainly didn't do it. And I don't think they're part of Valgaro. And then over here, I saw Velanosaurs. There's more crystal. Necessarily be able to find it again, but there was a Bolanosaur. So what I wanted to find out is, are there Managramar and are there? Oh, there you go, right there, Bolanosaur. So that mod installed its extinction features. So. Managramar and uh, Snowy Owls, maybe? Oh. I think I've been here. Maybe I have. Yeah, we've got some kind of that's something I have only noticed on Valgaro, frankly. Is um, there's like this little lag that happens and puts you back, and I didn't have that on Ragnarok. So I see lots of RDs. And of course, adding these creatures to this map is exactly what Wildcard doesn't want, because then it nullifies their other maps. Nobody's going to want to play e Extinction or um, Aberration or any of them. If you can get everything in one map, why would you even play a different map? So that is most likely why they didn't. They said no to him adding this stuff, and um, but I'm kind of happy for it because that could help me reduce the number of servers I have and the cost I have of keeping those servers running. I don't see any. Um, I don't see any though. I don't see any Man Managramar. If you're familiar with Extinction, they are like in the sky all the time going crazy running around, so I think you would see them. Uh oh, uh oh, right there, right there. Snowy Owl. Yep. That's kind of a cool looking Snowy Owl, too, wasn't it? A bad level, but still. So we got snowy owls. Now if I see Menagramar. Now does that mean, I'll bet that also means that down in the aberration area, 
there's going to be um, gotchas. Yep, there's Managrama right there. Yep, okay. Okay, guys, I know a lot of people said that my extinction base was their favorite base, but I don't know if I have a reason to keep the server. Everything's here. Everything is here, so why have another server running? Yep, there's a Manigramar. They aren't as good as they used to be, but they used to be freaking terrors. 72. Now there are no corrupted creatures, uh, but then there's things you could tame, so who cares? So we had, th so what was extinction? Extinction was the um, two biodomes, the desert and the snow, and then the wastelands. And what did that offer? Well, the snow offered unique creatures of the Snowy Owl and the Managramar, which there they are. The desert offered um, the Velanosaur, which we saw is here. And the Wasteland offered the Gas Bag, which we saw is here. I'm trying to think. The only thing missing is gotchas, and that you know that they're down there. I don't think there's much. Wow, that's a cool looking RG. Whoa. Whoa, cool RG. Crappy level. Okay. So I'll bet down in the Aberration area there are gotchas. And I've heard that's another thing the mod added is they added a different kind of Aberration area. Because um, if you've played Aberration, you know that there's the kind of woodsy under the ground area that you should start in. And then there's the blue kind of fluorescent area. So there's different caves that have different biomes of that. And I would guess the gotchas would be in the, um, what is kind of like the sunken forest area. So, I don't know. I'm pretty convinced I can get rid of Aberration and I can get rid of um, Extinction. Now, I will, of course, if I do that, make backups of my saves. So if I ever want to go back, I can do that. But um, I don't know. I really... I've been very vocal about the fact that I don't like the Aberration map and um, would love to see it go. I, my base there is alright. It's pretty cool, but I just don't like the crap you have to deal with. And there's no escape. And I know Aberration is some people's favorite map, and that's cool, but I'm just not one of those per peoples. So... Get a little stand before I cross the water here. Okay. So what's left then? Um, that's kind of it. That's kind of all the... Because this, this has roll rats. It has all the... It's got ravagers. The mod, I believe, adds Basilisk. The mod, I believe, adds Rock Drakes. Something I should do, though. I should go to Aberration and grab my creatures before I do anything like that. Bring them at least to Ragnarok. Um, the only thing I don't think the mods add is Reapers. 
to get out of name plus. Yeah, that's cool. I thought that might have might be a thing. Once I saw the gas bags running around, I'm like, what the heck are those doing here? I thought he just added stuff that was from Apparition. I didn't think he added stuff from Extinction too. So, crazy. Snap has it all. Here is our little island. I'm trying to make a cool bridge between these two, but so far it's not cool. I'll get there. Right now it is just some foundations. <laughs> And I would like to do the same to the mainland. Like right here would be a good spot to build a bridge going to the mainland here. I don't think I would try it the other direction because that's really far. But. Yeah, so here's an overview of the place. I wish the wind turbines worked in Valgaro, but I don't think they do. Which is weird that you get them in a Valgaro drop, even though they don't work here. I don't. Maybe they work in some areas. They don't work here. Um, here, of course, is the barn. Pretty big. And then, um, yeah, I don't. I would never attempt to build a bridge across there. That's that's insane. So. All right, so that's it for a base tour. And it is 1 a.m. here. I do have work in the morning. <coughs> Although I'm gonna be taking a vacation soon. Um, but I have work in the morning, so I can't hang around too long. And we've been on like um, 32 minutes. So that's decent. Kind of like that hat on her. It looks good. I uh, still haven't named her yet. Got to come up with a cool name for. Her. She's an awesome RG. So. All right, everyone. There is the base tour, and now we know what that mod is. I'm gonna actually have to run onto Steam Workshop and take a look at what all is in that mod because. Now I'm very curious about the other things. Um, like I said, it could really be a benefit. So we shall see. Um, so have a good night. I stream every other night. So the next one is going to be, uh, what's, what is tonight? Uh, Thursday. And I will see you all then. Follow me on Twitter, on one Follow me on Instagram, Cursedon, and of course all Twitch videos get uploaded to my YouTube Cursedon account. So I'll see you all next time. Good night. Hey.